Welcome back to Deal Unboxing and today we're going to review Xiaomi AX36 and a Wi-Fi 6 router. This is the first Wi-Fi 6 router from Xiaomi brand. So in this in-depth review we are going to go over the features, Wi-Fi speed, coverage and performance test to see how well Xiaomi performs in ever growing market of Wi-Fi 6 routers. So please sit back, relax and enjoy the review and also please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon for notifications for future videos. So let's do a quick unboxing. In the box we have a Xiaomi AX3600 Wi-Fi 6 router, power adapter, network cable and a quick start guide in Chinese language. Now let's look at the specs. The router uses Qualcomm's IPQ8071 chip. This chip uses a 6 core design which includes 64 bit quad core 1 GHz CPU, dual core 1.7 GHz NPU. Router also has 512 MB of RAM, 256 MB flash which can support 248 devices. Router supports 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz dual band with 802.11ax Wi-Fi 6 standard. The router also supports WPA3 encryption, IPv6, OFTMA plus MU-MIMO and BSS coloring. It also has AIoT smart antenna for Xiaomi products. And router also supports iOS and Android apps. Now let's look at the ports. Router has 3 1 gig LAN ports, 1 gig WAN port for internet, reset button and power input. And on the front of the router you have a status LED indicator lights for power and internet. Let's talk about the design and features. The Xiaomi router has unique design with total of 7 antennas from which 2 side antennas are used for 2.4 GHz and 4 back antennas are used for 5 GHz channel. And there's a single AIoT antenna. The middle AIoT antenna is used to connect with Xiaomi smart devices around you and a blue light source with display on the top. But you can turn it off in the app if you want. The router has plenty of ventilation on the top and bottom to keep the powerful hardware temperature under control. Overall, Xiaomi Wi-Fi 6 router body dimensions are big, with unique design, and build quality feels very good. Out of the box, the Xiaomi Wi-Fi 6 router is configured for maximum performance and coverage. The 2.4 GHz supports bandwidth throughput up to 574 megabits per second, and 5 GHz band supports speed up to 2400 megabits per second. An AIoT antenna supports dual frequency with speeds up to 150 megabits per second and 433 megabits per second respectively. According to Xiaomi, it achieves unparalleled throughput with Wi-Fi 6 supports for clients yielding up to twice or more aggregate speed than a Wi-Fi 5 capable routers. That's perfect for many modern homes, even on the larger side of things. So this Wi-Fi system is looking great for families, small offices or apartments. So it's a great system for multi-story houses. The Wi-Fi 6 router supports OFDMA and MU-MIMO technology, lets your router communicate more data to more devices at the same time. The Wi-Fi traffic is managed much more efficiently since data is transmitted from different devices at the same time, rather than having each device's data wait for its turn. This results in an efficient use of airtime, reduced latency, and increased bandwidth to add more devices to your network, which means you can connect more devices than ever before. It increases Wi-Fi data rates up to 60%, to enjoy lag-free online gaming and even 4K streaming. Xiaomi designed the Wi-Fi 6 router setup to be a very easy process. All you have to do is download the router app to your Android or iOS device, connect your router to your modem, or if you have a Fios with Ethernet connection, you can connect router's WAN port directly to your Ethernet cable, and you don't need modem. Then just follow the instructions and app to complete the setup, or you can set up using your web browser. Now let's do some performance coverage and speed test. So we placed Xiaomi Wi-Fi 6 router in the basement storage room. It has concrete walls around it. It is in the lowest part of the house. For this test we are using Intel AX200 Wi-Fi 6 card installed in our Dell laptop and I'm also using iPhone 11 which also supports Wi-Fi 6. So the total square footage of the house is 5000 square feet. I will be testing Wi-Fi connection in different corners and floors of the house to see how well Xiaomi Wi-Fi 6 router performs in terms of speed and coverage. In this test we will use fast.com which is powered by Netflix to perform internet speed test and also using iPerf3 performance test. So if you're not familiar with iPerf3, it is a tool to measure maximum bandwidth on the wireless or wired networks. So we have our MacBook Pro configured with iPerf3 server. So let's get started. I have 1 gig Verizon Fios connection and for the first test I have connected a MacBook Pro to the router via Ethernet cable. And using fast.com speed test, we are getting close to 1 gig internet speed, confirming router can handle 1 gig internet speed, which is great and good start for this test. 
Now for the first Wi-Fi speed test, I have placed the laptop with Wi-Fi 6 card installed right next to the router. And as you can see on the screen, we are connected to 5 GHz channel with speed up to 2.4 gigabits per second. And using fast.com speed test, I'm getting 730 megabits per second wireless speed. So now we're going to run iperf 3 test on this laptop, but we're going to use 5 streams instead of a single stream. With iperf 3 5 streams, we're able to get speed up to 900 megabits per second. Now let's switch to iPhone 11, which is also placed next to the router, and we're going to use fast.com internet speed test. So as you can see on the screen, we are able to achieve up to 440 megabits per second download speed and 670 megabits upload speed. Now we're going to run iperf 3 test with 5 streams on iPhone 11 as well. And as you can see, we are able to achieve 747 megabits per second wireless speed, which are very good results. Now for the second test, I'm standing 30 feet away from the Wi-Fi 6 router in the basement with a couple of walls between the Wi-Fi router, iPhone and laptop. I have so far good Wi-Fi connection. First, we're using iPhone 11 with iPerf 3 speed test and we're able to get 547 megabits per second wireless speed. Now let's move to the laptop with Wi-Fi 6 card installed. And here we are connected at 1.2 gigabits per second wireless speed. And running iPerf 3 test, we are getting 520 megabits per second wireless speed. Now let's move from the basement to the main floor of the house and do a next Wi-Fi speed and connection test. I have so far good Wi-Fi connection. And using iPerf 3 5 stream wireless speed test, we are still getting 551 megabits per second wireless speed on iPhone 11. And on the laptop using iPerf 3 5 stream test, we are getting 425 megabits per second wireless speed. Again, good results. Now let's move to the far right side of the house and close to 30 feet from the Wi-Fi 6 router with the floor and few walls in between the router, iPhone and laptop. Here we still have good Wi-Fi signals and using iPerf 3 5 stream speed test on iPhone 11, we are still getting 570 megabits per second wireless speed. And for a Wi-Fi 6 laptop using iPerf 3 5 stream test, we are getting 324 megabits per second wireless speed. Now I moved to the far left side of the house and close to 60 feet from the Wi-Fi 6 router with the floor and few walls between the router, iPhone 11 and laptop. I have so far good Wi-Fi connection on iPhone 11 and using iPerf 3 5 stream speed test, we are still getting 99 megabits per second wireless speed. Now switching to laptop, it also getting good Wi-Fi signals and using iPerf 3 speed test, we are getting 114 megabits per second wireless speed on laptop. Now let's move to the second floor of the house. Here we have two floors and few walls between Wi-Fi 6 router, iPhone and laptop. Here we still have good Wi-Fi connection strength. And I also have good Wi-Fi connection on iPhone 11. And using iPerf 3 5 stream wireless speed test, we're still getting 620 megabits per second wireless speed. Laptop is also getting really good strong signals here, with connection speed up to 1.7 gigabits per second. And running iPerf 3 5 stream test, we're getting average of 500 megabits per second wireless speed. Again, great results. Now we're going to do a final router's Ethernet network speed test. In this test, we have both our iPerf 3 server and a client connected to the router via Ethernet. And using iPerf 3 5 stream test, we're able to get 1 gigabit per second transfer speed. This is also a good result and would be very helpful if you own a NAS device. To summarize this review, overall Xiaomi Wi-Fi 6 router did perform very well in this review. The AX3600 Wi-Fi 6 router delivers good Wi-Fi coverage very good Wi-Fi speeds and can cover up to 5,000 square feet. The Wi-Fi 6 router offers all the latest features and priced only $130 on GearBest.com. I will leave the link in the description below. On that basis, I have no problem recommending Xiaomi AX36 and a Wi-Fi 6 router to anyone who is in the market for new Wi-Fi 6 router. Let me know what you guys think of Xiaomi Wi-Fi 6 router in the comments below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for notifications for future videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.